right, folks, we are back to talk the Miami Dolphins defense in preparation for the Bears game Sunday against the Dolphins. Let's jump right in. First off, we're going to take a look at what type of coverages they like to use on first down. This first play, I mean, really, all these first down plays I'm showing are cover three. Deep third, deep third, and deep third. Now, typically, these guys are just playing little zone, flat hook zones over here. Now, they do like to change it up with blitz fronts and stuff. They're typically only bringing four, though, so expect one of these guys to drop out as well. When you have these corners playing that deep coverage, they tend to, to backpedal a little heavier than they normally would if they weren't playing a deep third like that because they have no help behind them. So the best way to beat that is by hitting underneath. So probably, you know, under the sticks. I mean, this is actually like first and 20, it looks like. But on first down, you can go short of the sticks. So why wouldn't you? Right here, finds his guy. This one, we're going to see him play straight to the sticks. So sticks are right here. Watch how watch how they're backpedaling. Their hips are towards the play, and they're backpedaling very aggressively aggressively so it's really easy for these guys to run to the stick and, and little curl and get wide open because the corners are so heavily going the other way so this one's actually on the tight the tight end watch the tight end against the linebacker in coverage he just he find he finds a weak part of the zone a little flat area see the how the linebacker stays there but the linebacker actually does a good job of getting depth and then getting a hand on the ball right there to break it up. So their, their linebackers are capable in coverage. Not the best, but they're definitely capable. Now let's move into second down. So on second down, we still see a lot of cover three from them, but they change it up more. They like to mix in some cover two looks in there, some cover six even I saw on one play. They start to throw you some more curve balls on second down. On this one, we see a blitz. So we see really nine guys, it could be even 10 that are coming. Like, I mean, no one's gonna send 10, but it could be any of those 10 guys that are coming. It creates some havoc for the offensive line as I've talked about before, some confusion maybe. Let's see who they actually bring. Six, bringing six guys at, at the rookie, Kenny Pickett. It was actually five, one of those guys dropped out. We, we see 43 here, Andy Van Ginkle. Go ahead and drop out in coverage. Got the nice little bootleg here. And he hits Claypool on the underneath again. Like I said, that was a cover three look. We see deep third, deep middle, deep third. And those guys are running deep, deep. So all, you just see Claypool to beat the linebacker because the corners are going to be so far out on this blitz because they're the safety net back there. You know, they're the last line of defense. It's really just Claypool against Van Ginkle on this play. This one, we see we see the Dolphins bring another cover three blitz. So deep third, deep middle, deep third. We got one, two, three, four, five, six guys up near the line of scrimmage that could be coming. They bring five of them, one drops out. Look at that. Right when he broke off his route, he is still thinking deep. Like that is a big cushion. You always throw that. I mean, and the sticks are right here, so it's you're going to be able to get a lot of chances to get first downs on the underneath as long as they're running cover three and blitzing especially because these corners and safeties are very cautious of not getting burned deep. Again, we're going to see Pickett attack the sticks here on another cover three look. Watch the wide receiver here in relation to this corner. Double move. Look, this corner's panicked when he sees the double move. He's like, I gotta get back. I gotta get back. I can't get burned. And then the receiver just stops, turns around, falls on him. Now on this one, this is where they change it up a little. We see them actually run a quarter, quarter, half here where this corner's got this half of the field. This safety's got a deep quarter and this corner's got the other deep quarter. Um, and this guy up here, he just, he, he has too much ground to cover. And I don't think he has really an idea of where the play is going because you see 
the receiver's pushing out to the sideline here. And the whole back pedal, he was coming more inside. Maybe someone blew a coverage. It, it's kind of weird that he's got so much depth from the receiver when that's the only receiver in the area, unless he thinks this crossing route's coming up here. But he, he must be watching this receiver right here because the ball's coming out right now and he hasn't reacted yet. And then he finally reacts, but it's too late. Catch on the sideline. First down. Now we see them run some cover too. So we've got deep half, deep half. Notice how they, they change up the safety alignment so it, it only looks like one high safety, but really we're gonna be playing too high here. He's gonna have the flat, he's gonna have the flat, and these guys are zoned. And Pickett doesn't really know how to respond to the cover two look, because it's the first time they've shown it all game, just checks it down. Now we move on to third down, the money down. Dolphins run cover one on third down this whole game, it felt like, until the, until the end when they started trying to trick Kenny Pickett. But they were running cover one, third down most of this game, also bringing heat on some of it. So cover one, I mean, these Dolphins corners are fearless. I think they, they might need to be a little, have a little more fear in them, but press man, press man, press man. Got one safety over the top, just playing deep center field. And uh, these guys are, these backers are tight end, running back, running back. One of these guys will drop into his own, whichever one is further from the running back will just kind of drop into his own. Watch him right here. Watch him just beat the coverage on that little double move. Gets two steps, but throws off. That's a home run right there. We're watching Chase Claypool. We got the same thing. Press man, press man, press man. Watch Claypool. He's got the step. Safety's trying to get over there to help. But if you drop this ball right about here, it's going to be Claypool's and Claypool's alone. But instead, Claypool's feet get tied up. Ball's a little too inside. Interception. We see too high from the start, and they're playing cover two with the safeties. Deep middle, deep middle. But they're manned up all down here. So we got cover two man here. Pickett doesn't really recognize it. He's not sure what he's seeing, I don't think. And he just, he pulls and scrambles. And I included this one because you can take advantage of their man coverage with scrambles. That's something Justin Fields should be able to do on Sunday. This is a disguised cover two look. So we're gonna see him drop back, him deep half, deep half. And then I believe it's cover two man, because I believe they're manned up down underneath. But instead of having the one extra linebacker drop into his zone, he is spying quarterback now after getting burned on that. See, so he didn't he didn't go, or actually not linebacker, D lineman. He, he didn't go with the rest of the D line, they're only bringing three. And he's just eyes on the quarterback. Don't let him burn us again. And it works. Now we're going to look at the run defense. And I really want to highlight Andy Van Ginkle. Who sounds like he's made for a Disney movie with his name. But this guy is a monster against the run. Just watch him on this play here. Disrupt in the backfield and destroy the run from the start. Get, gets off the tight end, just throws him. And one more for Van Ginkle here. They got, it looks like they have a, an extra eligible lineman right here in on the play instead of a tight end trying to trying to erase Van Ginkle, but don't really work. He holds, con, contains the spot. Watching number 94, Christian Wilkins, just power through his man, dominate his man, and break up the run. I want you to watch number 55, Jerome Baker here. We're going to get a pulling extra offensive tackle coming right into this gap for him. And watch him just meet the tackle with force, not move back an inch, and then hold up the play. See, he, that tackle just couldn't open the hole. And that's all I got for you on the Dolphins defense today, folks. Make sure to... Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you like, let me know what you'd like to see in these. I'd love to hear from you guys, hear any feedback, and make sure to go check out my podcast, Shaving Points Podcast, where we give out our NFL picks every single week. 
That's all I got for you. Bear down.